Did, did you want to say anything more specifically on being rejection proof? Um, yeah, what I think I'll just add to that is that you guys have some directions, right? So when you get direct, when you get rejected, you're going to flip it around in your mind to it's not a match, right? So what now what? You're going to remember these where I have these little visual. You're going to say yes, right? What if the universe is protecting you from that schmo, <laughs> right? Like he's not your guy. Um, he's the universe, divine source, whatever, however you see it is pointing you in the direction that you need to go, right? It's like when you take kids bowling and they have those little lanes in the side, right? It's, it's forcing you to just keep going on this path. And so you want to be able to ask a higher quality question. What is this trying to show me? What do I need to learn? What are the patterns here? Um, there's a million answers, um, but don't focus on the ones like that you can't answer, which is why did he say that? What does it mean that um, th you'll never know? There's a different answer for every human on the planet. Totally, totally agree with it. And, and so I just wanted to throw something else out there around what Marnie was talking about. And it's something that that we talk about here uh, quite a bit on this channel. And it's the idea that that of uh, changing, changing the meaning, right? Changing the meaning of what happened instead of looking at it like there's something wrong with me and I'm the problem. Instead, in finding empowering meaning and one of the most empowering meanings that you can find is exactly what Marnie was talking about, what, which was, you know, maybe there's a higher purpose for this. Maybe the, the universe or God or whatever you believe in, the divine is trying to teach me some lesson. Maybe it's protecting me from being in a situation that I shouldn't be in and instead is guiding me? What if I'm being guided towards uh, what, what really is my destiny in life, towards having the relationship that I wanted? And maybe I couldn't have it coming from the space that I was in and being with the person that I was with. And instead, there's something greater out there for me. And maybe I need to step up a little bit and start looking at myself a little bit differently and start looking at men a little bit differently and start looking at my life a little bit differently and start instead of, um, you know, turning all of this into, I've got to have it right now and I've got to force this right now. And I've got to, you know, turn this guy into this person that I want him to be. What if it's about, you know, just enjoying your life and turning your life into a celebration and loving each moment and, and connecting with the, the person that's in front of you, connecting with yourself and, um, you know, just creating better moments each moment of your life.